In the last class, we were discussing about the, the different types of weather forecast and methodology used and how they are being utilized for the benefit of the farmers. Here I like to raise one question. You may also raise a question on this. Comparing the European countries, our forecast is not so accuracy. You may ask a question on that. I can say answer for that. So, we are in the equator. Here the weather system is always under turbulence. But in the case of the European western countries, the weather system is very, very calm. So, whatever uh, forecast they give, it would be around 100 percent uh, in reality. But since our forecast is being developed uh, under uh, equatorial situations, uh, the weather system is not at all stable. It collapses, it moves, changes, like weather it gets uh, changes. So, our whatever forecast we try to precisely to be given, it may not be 100 percent accuracy. It maximum under naive costing it is around 90 percent accuracy. For today's discussion, let me continue on the same topic, how to integrate the different weather forecast. Now, a question is uh, has come, sir, we have different types of weather forecast. If it is given under uh, isolated condition, will it be useful to the farmers? The question you may ask. The question is very, very relevant. It must be integrated for better utility by the farmers of India or any country. So, integration means integrating your long range forecast, your medium range forecast, your short range forecast, so that farmers can take form decisions and they can improve their input efficiency, they can increase their profitability and everything and how it should be done is to be discussed today. Now, let me say the integration means, you will be knowing what is integration and everything. Integration means integrating long range, your medium range and short range have been given to the farmers from a single source with the agro adversary in temporal dimensions. Very, very important. Single source and temporal dimension. See, we were seeing in the last class, now casting is given by IMD. Short range for weather forecast is given by IMD, long range is also given by IMD, medium range by two organization IMD as well as TNIU, seasonal climate forecast is given by your uh, TNIU. So, if these information are delivered from two source means, farmers may not be very interested to implement the agro advisory given by these organization. So, we have to integrate, only the IMD must undertake the responsibility of giving all forecast information to the farmers and that too in temporal basis. First, they give long range forecast. What will be the anticipated seasonal rainfall? They will be giving first. Lead time is about 45 days. Then farmers uh, think that, oh, this is the rainfall, we are going to get it. Then we have to take some decisions. That we will be discussing later. Then after the season has come, the IMD will give median range weather forecast, what will happen 3 to 7 days in the coming days. Then farmers can modify certain farm operations. And if they give short range within the 3 to 7 days, uh, 1 to 2 days range, then farmers uh, retune or refine or retake their decision and uh, taking a appropriate farm decision to reduce the crop production risks under farming conditions. That we will be discussing um, for uh, today. Now, forecast types and farmers decision to be taken under uh, integrated forecast. Suppose long range, single source your IMD to be nominated. Then when the long range forecast is given in Australia, they call it is as response warming. So, when long range forecast is given, 45 days ahead of a season, what a farmer can decide? Oh, if drought comes, he can decide how many acres to be cultivated. In Australia, they say that if drought comes means against 10,000 hectares, they go for cultivation 1,000 hectares only. So, they reduce the risk by decreasing the uh, area under cultivation. Then what are the crops to be selected? If it is a flood prone, the flood tolerant crops to be selected. If the drought comes, drought tolerant crops to be selected. 
and also technology be to select her according to the fourth uh, coming seasonal rainfall. In a way, I say crop planning, land use planning can be done very effectively by the long range weather forecast. And also you can procure your input according to the selection of the crop, according to the selection of your technology based on the long range forecast, 45 days in advance of the season comes. This is very, very important. Once the season has come, the IMD will give media range forecast. So, land preparation when to be done, season has started, the, the rain may occur. See, we have studied earlier in the class that long range forecast has accuracy up to 60 percent, media range weather forecast has about 70 percent. So, the farm decision can be taken according to the media range weather forecast. So, land preparation, sowing, fertilizer application and plant protection. So, whatever decision taken earlier through long range forecast can be modified precisely with the forecast from the media range weather forecast information. Then, after that, within the 3 to 7 days, they will be using the your IMD short range weather forecast. By that harvest, when rain comes, postpone your harvest. When rain comes, postpone your water management or irrigation. When rain comes, do not do plant protection. Like that, you can take your decision accordingly. So, this is the integration of the weather forecast to be received from the organizations. Now, I have put in um, a yeah, figurative way, priority of communication. Form decision under integrated weather forecast through single window. Single window means IMD, India Meteorological Department. So, first is long range, then long range or climate uh, your seasonal forecast, media range and short range. Now, if long range is given, your seasonal crop plan and management decisions. This is very, very important. Our farmers are yet to come to take decision like this. But in other countries, especially Australia, America, in other European countries, everywhere once a seasonal rainfall is uh, informed, people undertake uh, such uh, activities. This is very, very important. Thereby, you can reduce your risk. You can also increase your input efficiency also. Then the second one is media range weather forecast, farm operation decisions. Already we will be knowing weather sensitive farm operation, weather sensitive crops, weather sensitive stages, accordingly the weather forecast information can be used. Then finally, short range retuning or remodifying earlier decision taken under media range weather forecast. So, you are refining your uh, crop planning or uh, your farm decisions according to the forecast, thereby you are trying to reduce the crop production risk. So, with this uh, I close this class. So, all along we were discussing about the weather forecast types and how best it could be utilized for the benefit of the farming community. Thank you very much. We will meet in the next class.